I'm not saying you play like Djokovic, but if you consider yourself to be a counterpuncher like him, then keep watching. Hi, I'm Seb Prozzi, and thanks to tennis majors and all their videos, you can find out all there is to know about tennis equipment. We'll tell you what the pros use to be at their best, and what you should use to have the most fun and win the most matches. Today, we're starting a new series. In this new series, I will attempt to guide you towards the most suitable equipment based on your very own needs as a tennis player. I will answer questions you probably ask yourself when you want to highlight your strengths or fix something disturbing in your game. What racket should I use if I consider myself to be a counterpuncher? That's the first question I will ask. The best way to describe a counterpuncher is by using one of the best players to ever play the game, Novak Djokovic. A counterpuncher is someone who likes to use the pace that's thrown at him and can surprise the opponent by a winner. Generally, using your opponent's pace means that you don't necessarily have to have a big swing. A counterpuncher needs equipment that helps him or her develop that pace. A heavier racket is going to be a lot more suited to your needs as a counterpuncher. Something that can really create some stability when the ball is hit at your racket. The heavier the racket is, for your level of strength, the more stable it's going to feel when the ball comes at you at top speed. And if you're trying to block it, the heavier your racket is, the better it is. If you have any questions about racket stiffness, head size or length, please watch the fourth episode in testing equipment. The first six episodes were designed to let you know everything there is to know about racket specs, including strings and grips. Every brand has rackets that could fit a counterpuncher's needs. Here are some ideas of which rackets to gravitate towards from specific brands. For head, the Prestige and the Speed models. For Babolat, the Pure Strike or the new VS series. For Dunlop, the CX models. For Technifiber, the T-Fight 305. And for Wilson, the Pro Staff and Blade models. All of these series have different models within them, but what I recommend is for you to choose one that's above 300 grams and that generally has an 18 main string pattern. Especially if you're playing with a heavy racket, you want something that offers control with a smaller head size. A counterpuncher also generally has a short backswing. So again, a heavy racket makes more sense. Remember, I personally recommend that you add weight to your racket depending on your strength level. And if you're curious about how to add weight to your racket, please watch episode six in the testing equipment series. Lastly, if you're a counterpuncher, a hybrid string setup is something you can definitely try to play with to get more feel over the ball. This is something that Novak Djokovic himself plays with. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.